Hi everyone, happy Cinco de Mayo. Do you have your margarita with you? I wish I had one, but it's five o'clock somewhere. So anyway, today I'm so excited because I'm gonna be using some new product. Um, I don't know if you seen my video yesterday. <clears throat> I was kind of showing the new products that I had gotten so far. And today's all super simple, quick, and easy gift packaging. Thanks to Stampin' Up! coming up, coming out with some new um, boxes. Last week's winner for the punch was Pam. Pam, I have your address and I'll get it out to you. So if you share my video, <clears throat> I draw a name from everybody who shares and then I give out a prize. This week's gonna be Kangaroo and Company. This is a cute little set. Um, it will be retiring after June. So I had ordered a lot of stuff out of the mini catalog. So this will be this week's prize. Just share my video. Like I said, that the project sheet has already been uploaded. Super easy. There is um, a lot of specials going on. So there's a second page. Right now, if you host a party um, or you want to purchase $250 yourself, you can get an extra $25 in stamp and rewards. So that's, you can pick another $25 in product. We can do a virtual party. We can do an in-person party. It's basically just to get together. We can make some cards and then hopefully you can get some orders, get that $250. And then the more that you um, sell, the more reward points you get percentage goes up and if you have a huge wish list that's over $99 or nine um, at $99 you can join my team the lucky charms there's no commitment um, you just um, right now they're adding an extra $30 so you can get $155 in product for $99 plus free shipping, which is shipping is saving you another 10%. If you'd like to do that, let me know. Um, after that, you'll get, um, get an additional, well, you'll get 20% off of every order thereafter. And I have my Ink Color Club that is still, um, I'm still taking reservations. That'll be ending on this Saturday. So if you're interested in the Ink Color Club, let me know on that. And if you spend $30 in my online store, you get my Sweet Stampin' Friends tutorial. This one is for May. And we have Father's Day projects. Whew. And let me see if I forgot anything else. Oh, who likes to play games? This Friday, I am going to do some games at, uh, I had it written down, I think it's 5 o'clock. Pacific time um, we're gonna play some games for some prizes and it's gonna be all to do with the new catalog so if you have your catalog you'll want to meet me here at five o'clock on Friday and if you don't have a catalog I'll ho um, I'll put the link on so that you can order or not order so that you can follow along and play the games so this Friday at five o'clock Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Oh my goodness. So today's pro, this first project is the super simple gift box. This is one of the new boxes that Stampin' Up! has come out with. You get a package of eight. They're a good size box. They're scallop boxes. So we're gonna use those. And we're gonna be using the hand pinned designer series paper. This paper is so pretty. Look at all the pretty colors that are in it. And it is on page 105 in the new catalog. So it's the hand pin petals. So let's start out with the box. It's really simple to put together. <clears throat> Just basically score or not score, but burnish all your lines so that they're nice and tight. It kind of looks a little confusing because you're like, why are these flaps so big? But 
just burnish all those lines. Close your flaps up and there is your lid. If you'd want, you can probably put some adhesive down there, but it's really not necessary. And the same for this one. This is now the bottom. So the top you could tell because it has the scallops and it's a little bit thinner. I know everybody has been excited about this new catalog and putting their orders in. I put some more in yesterday because our pre-order, we were only allowed to order so much. And then if you don't like this gap, what I did is I just put a glue dot in there. I mean, because they're not really, I mean, I don't think that they're going to open the box this way. So let's put a glue dot in there and it just kind of gives it more of a snug fit. And that way they could just uh, lift the lid off. Okay, so we're going to use the Pale Papaya and the DSP. And um, the Pale Papaya is going to be three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I might already have this at three and a quarter. Let's see. Yeah, three and a quarter, so by three and a quarter. And then the Designer Series Paper is three and one eighth. So three and one eighth by three and one eighth. And I chose the pale papaya out of the designer series paper to go with. So we have those. And we're just gonna adhere these together. I'm gonna use my liquid glue. But see how easy this gift packaging is and you don't have to do like all the cutting and scoring like I normally do when I create my boxes. And this is just gonna give us a little tiny border. And we're gonna put dimensionals on this. Oops, where are my dimensionals? But before we do the dimensionals, we're gonna use the pale papaya ribbon. So I'm only putting them here because our ribbon is gonna go across here. So here's the new gorgeous pale papaya ribbon. So pretty. And we're just gonna tie a bow around. You can put a dimensional after. I really didn't because we don't need it. Just tie a bow. I wish this ribbon here came in all the new in colors. What are your guys' favorite in colors? I can't decide. Like I said, at first I wasn't really a fan and then all of a sudden I just like, oh my gosh, they're all so pretty. Can't decide. Uh, so we're gonna move this over to the side some. And we'll put this right on top. Our dimensionals it's gonna be popped up and we'll just put that right over there and now what we're gonna do is we have these new um, tags tag dies they're called uh, the Taylor tag Taylor tag dies I put them away already but they have a bunch of different dies and we're gonna use the one with the square top. And we'll, we'll cut this out in some basic white cardstock. What has been your guys' favorites in the new catalog? There's so many, I can't decide. So there's our tag. And we're going to stamp now with the hand pen petals. I'm using the flower. And I'm going to use Evening Evergreen. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And we're just, it's just a little, it's not going to fit the whole thing on. We are just going to kind of put most of the flower that we can, but we want to leave a little space down here for our stamp, for our sentiment. So that's Evening Evergreen. And we're going to stamp the sentiment in Pale Papaya. And I'm using Feel Better Friend. And so this box, you can put some nice little snacks in there. You can put some um, uh, like tea and little jars of honey if somebody's not feeling good. I forgot I was going to pull out my jar with honey. And I forgot. But if I have time, I'll show you. And you could put some tea bags. They have those little cup of soup package you could put in there. So we're gonna use pale papaya again. And we have this new Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. So it has all different colors in there. We're gonna use the white. I'm gonna keep that packet out because we're gonna use that later on another project. And we're just gonna tie a bow around this. But I'm glad that they came out with all these Baker Twines. Because anytime I need a little ah, filler, I like to use Baker's Twine. Just to, you know, you could always add a small bow anywhere on any card, package, whatever, without being big and bulky. All right, so we're just gonna tie that like that. And kind of spread our little thing out. This one's a little bit shredded. Let's, I was like, am I using the right um, scissors? Make sure they're not my paper scissors. And then we're gonna add some of these genial, gen, genial, I can never say it, genial, <laughs> genial gems. And we're gonna put the, oops, pale papaya. I'm assuming this is pale papaya. Oh my goodness. On the flower. This did not work very well. Look at me. So, there we go. It's supposed to work much easier with my take your pick tool. Look, I got a rhinestone on it. And then we'll just add the green. There. I've been using these gems. Okay, so now we're just going to put some more dimensionals and then add our tag to the box. And we will be done. Now look how easy that is. If you had to make a lot of these, you can make these super quick. My granddaughter's 15th birthday is coming up. I cannot believe I have a grandchild that's gonna be 15. And it's funny because her birthday theme, I think she's doing a garden party or something, but it's got kind of our in colors in. So there's our box. Now, if you wanna, make this more fancy. You could fill these in with Wink Stella. You could color them in. I thought it was pretty just um, being in the evening evergreen and then your colors are on your designer series paper. So that was a super easy box. That was project number one. Move these stamps out of the way. And let's try project number two. Get all this mess out of the way. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this one. Here's another gift box that Stampin' Up! has come out with. Is these gold and like they have a little pull thing. These are great for like wedding favors or something. And I just put some mints in here. And it comes like this and you get 10 in each package so 
let's put these together. These ones kind of look a little bit confusing too. I think it went like this, this, this. <laughs> you know, I've only used it once because I'm making my project. And then that, see, super easy. We like easy, easy, easy. So fold this one over, fold this. Like I said, these are such easy favors that you can make a bunch of in no time at all. And then just goes together like that. So I'm using the um, Simply Elegant Designer Series paper. This is some gorgeous Designer Series paper as well. It's got the gold, the copper, the silver in it. Um, just like such pretty. I really like this one. I like those copper flowers but um this is the one we're gonna use and we're just gonna cut a strip of it and it's eight and a quarter by one and a quarter so let's cut it down to one and a quarter first one and a quarter Quarter. I have stuff all over my workspace. I'm running out of room. Okay, so eight and a quarter. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna use the um, the scalloped edge die here, and we're gonna scallop the edge. Where's my box? See how I did that? So we're gonna pull out the big shot again. Let's get this thing. I'm still waiting on my plates, my new plates. So we're just going to put this at the end, all the way to the end, and then at the edge here, like that. And we'll roll it through. I think my die might have moved, but it's okay. And we're going to line these up again so that now I'm going to line this up with this. See, it did move because it wasn't completely at the edge. My die moved on me. And it's going to keep moving. Let's try and move this over. If not, I'll get a piece of tape. Okay, let me grab a piece of washi tape just to hold it in place. Okay, this is lined up. Let's just stick that washi tape there to hold it in place so it doesn't move when we're rolling it through again. Okay, pull that washi tape off, and there's our scalloped edge. And this one is from the hand pinned di hand pinned dies. <laughs> So on this, we're gonna, I think I did like about a quarter of an inch extra on the side. So just kind of go over maybe like a quarter inch and then fit it. And then with the glue, it's gonna take a little bit because I guess because of the gold finish here, but you can kind of just press it around. And then we're gonna add glue to the See this, it takes a little bit longer for this to dry. I think it's the, the shiny paper that makes it a little bit, we keep holding it and we'll just go around and pinch these in, pinch them in and this should come around, yep, just right. So I was gonna add glue in there, but I think because just because it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry we'll just go ahead and add some oops some stamp and seal along the edge and then here and I could put it over here too but look how quick and easy these projects are um, are to put together so just fit all this. I 
think my next project, I think I'm going to use those for my daughter, or my granddaughter's birthday party favors because it pretty much has the colors that, um, you know, I can either, they have the, um, okay, Lisa, they have the, um, the in colors are her colors for her party, so I can use those. Okay, so now I'm gonna use those tags again and I'm gonna use this small one. And we're gonna just type, uh, so we're gonna stamp thanks and we're gonna emboss it with the gold since we have a gold box. But these tags are so cute. You can use them in many different ways. So let's grab all of our embossing fun stuff. Our embossing buddy. We need our Versamark. And thanks. And the embossing powders now come in a multi-pack. So I think you get gold, copper, silver. And then the other pack is white and black, I believe. So we're just going to stamp thanks on here and it fits it's just that you have to um, get it on each it's gonna fit top and bottom and then now we'll emboss that let's get this out of the way I tend to get embossing powder everywhere but that's where my little vacuum comes in handy so we'll emboss, I'm gonna get the heat tool so be loud for a second. gonna add this I grabbed the wrong one we are gonna add some twine hi Paula yeah I'm I'm a hundred percent with you on the flower stamps I'm not big on the flowers but like you said stamping up keeps coming out with more flowers and then I fall for them every time every time so we're just, this is um, some new uh, twine, I guess you could call it, or metallic, or not sure what you want to call it. So we're just going to double wrap it. They call it simply elegant trim, but I'm using the silver to go with the silver and the paper as well. And we're just going to tie, oops, okay. Wrap it around twice, and then we're gonna tie a bow. We'll move our tag in a minute. Hi, Denise. How are you both doing today? Do you guys have your margaritas on hand? <laughs> if you're on the East Coast, you're closer to margarita time than I am. Here goes our tag. We're going to move it over there. There's our tag. And just tie our ribbon. So this simply elegant trim, it comes with the gold and the silver. I didn't want to do too much gold here. But there's our box. Look how easy that was. Super easy. We add a piece of designer series paper and a tag and we're done. Again, you could make a lot of these for party favors. Um, who knows, I might make some more for Mother's Day and just um, emboss Happy Mother's Day on a tag and then put them at the table. You know, this year is going to be my first Mother's Day without my mom. And actually my dad's um, anniversary of his passing happens to be the same day. So it's going to be... A little different, I don't know, 
but my mother-in-law, she's going to be joining us. You know, my father-in-law passed away last year, too. So, um, that is our second project. Let me get all this mess out of the way. And we're already on to our third project, because these packagings are so easy. So, our third project is this little gift bag. And, um... These come in all the in colors. That's the same. I think I'll do these for my granddaughter's party because they come in all the in colors. So fresh freesia, pale papaya. This is evening evergreen, soft succulent, and polished pink. But today I wanted to create something kind of a little masculine, I guess I should say. So we're going to use the birch stamp set. And then I'll show you what I have inside this birthday bag in a moment. Again, these could be cute little party favors. So we are using Evening Evergreen. I forgot I had to put it away. Evening Evergreen, and we're going to do the Soft Succulent bag but here's what I have in this bag these birthday cake bars you can put a gift card a little blower and a balloon so that way it's a party in a bag I kind of made something similar with the box and um, we're also going to use the party puffins stamp set but um this is so cute so what I did is I lined my bag all the way up to the to the top and I'm gonna actually take this off because I had cleaned it and not sure where I got it this or actually I put the magnet at the top because we're not too worried about the top we want to get this section because that top is gonna fold over Sorry, I lost you guys for a minute. So, let me make a mark just so that we put the back side in the same place. I kind of didn't do that the other day. But I mean, it's still, it'll work. So we're using Soft Succulent Bag and Evening Evergreen um, Ink. We're just gonna flip this over and then we will do the back side. So line it up at the top and let's put it in these lines that I made to make sure that we're getting kind of the same. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, and then we'll put some more evening evergreen. This doesn't, you don't have to keep restamping it, restamping it. You know, you just want to put some color on the bag, give the bag a little texture instead of it being just a plain bag. And just, and there's our bag. So now we can put this away. Put this away. And this is, I really like this ribbon. We haven't had like a real thick ribbon, but let's put our goodies inside. So we're gonna put a birthday cake bar, a gift card, a balloon, and a blower, horn, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna fold this over. You could staple it, you could put a glue dot. I didn't put anything, but I just want to show you, these are the birthday cake bars. I believe I got these at Target. So I put the, since you can't send a birthday cake to somebody, you could send them a birthday bar. So we're just gonna tie a bow. I like this big bow. It's like a big old giant Christmas present. 
put in a little tiny bag. <laughs> and I probably should have, let me make this, this piece longer. Now I might have made it too long, but that's okay. We'll just have long wings. Or what do you guys call them? I call them wings. No, just keep pulling it, tying it. I messed this up somewhere, but I'll fix it. My bow got my bow got a little messed up there. I'm not sure what happened. Did I get this through? I always seem to make bows complicated, don't I? I'm not sure what I did there. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on that. I will fix it after. Let's get on to making our tag. So for the tag, again, I used those same dies, the tag dies, and I am using the largest one and the smallest one. So we're gonna use the largest and the soft succulent, and then the smallest is smoky slate. So we can cut both of those out at the same time. And you know, like I said, I was trying to make this like a little bit masculine. You could add one of the little tiny bottles of alcohol with a bag of um, like beer nets or almonds. I had that out as well, um, you know, to give it to the guys. The guys seem to miss out a lot, I guess because we have all the flowery things. <laughs> Is flower, flower e even a word? So on this tag, we're gonna use the birch again. I guess I could have stamped that at the same time. So let's put this under here. And this, it doesn't have to be perfect. We know it's gonna fit in there. We'll do some more evening evergreen. Forgot I had stamped that tag. And just put over and make sure your tag is there. Just to put again a little texture on it. Now we're going to use uh, the party puffins. This is so cute. I don't know if you guys see my video yesterday. I used the, um, uh, I made one that swirls. A card that the penguin swirls on. So we are going to use Evening Evergreen on this tag. I'll pull that card if I could find it real quick. And we're just going to do this at an angle. Happy birthday. And now we're going to do the candles, but we're going to stamp off first and then just stamp it here. And then we're gonna do the birthday cake at the bottom, stamp it off, and then go here. And of course, even if, even that this is a masculine, you know me, I have to add my Winkastella. So I just added some Winkastella to the candle flames. The candle flames here and then kind of the icing, the icing on the cake. Just to add a little glitter, not a whole lot of bling bling. And so what I did here is just add a glue dot in the back. What side am I putting it on? It's this side, I think. Oops, where'd it go? It's, oh, it's still on my, how funny. And we're just gonna glue that at an angle like that. And in this essentials pack, there is actually a gray granite color. I think it's gray granite. It's not smoky slate, but it's pretty close. So what I did is we just are gonna stick this through here and bring our bag in. And you can, you can try and feed it through here 
or you can do it just around it. That's up to you what you prefer. I need to fix my bow. So like I said, I'll do that after. And we're just gonna tie this one in a bow. Again, I really like all these different color baker's twines. I should have bought a bunch of them, I didn't. I'm sure I'll be placing another order before long. There was already something I seen that I forgot. So this pack comes with five different colors. This is probably like a crumb cake, black, fairy vanilla, white, and gray granite. I'm not 100% on that, sure on that color. But see our little, there's our little gift bag. Party in a bag. I want to fix this bow. Oops, no. Now I'm going to have to do it after. But look how quick. We already did all three projects in barely over 30 minutes. That was quick. We really didn't have to do a whole lot of cutting. Um, there's our two bags. Here's our two boxes. And here's our two mini boxes. Let's say thanks. Um, if you guys would like to get these make and takes, I'll send you the materials for the three projects um, for free if you spend $35 in my online store and you use this host code. You need to use that host code so that I can um, know to send you the make and takes. I'm looking for my little, uh, here's my <laughs> Party Puffins card that I made yesterday. I just wanted to show you how I use the penguins and see. It's happy birthday from all of us and he spins around. He's so excited. He spins around. The balloon got smushed in the, but he spins around. And I wanted to try the tie dye with the, well, it's not tie dye. It's called spiral dye with the two colors. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And for you mothers, have a very, very happy Mother's Day. You deserve it. Any mother is a superhero. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the product projects. They're so simple. We made them all so quickly and easily to the new packaging from Stampin' Up! Have a great day, you guys, and a great week, and I hope to see you back next Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone.